Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sipniewski. Thank you so much for popping by my channel. In this video, we're going to discuss the advantages of purchasing manual lenses. <sighs> hey, are you all right? You're looking kind of rough. I don't want to talk about it. I'm actually in the what middle of to? filming a video. Oh, am I interrupting? A little bit. Okay, I'll just mosey okay. in out then. Hey, Kenny. That's my jacket. Hey, Ken. Today's video was a request from Coffee with Carrie. Carrie, probably the biggest part of this whole shoot was the camera and making sure that the camera stayed nice and stable throughout all of the different shots. So get your camera, put it on a monopod, make sure it's stable and that it doesn't move at all between your different takes. If you have a remote for your camera, that is going to be best case scenario because if you hit record on your camera and nudge it even just a little bit, just like a little fraction of a centimeter, that can blow all of your takes. So make sure that you're keeping that camera stable at all times. Make sure that you have a wide angle lens that's going to cover the entire room that you're shooting in. I also put on my wireless lavalier microphone, so that allowed me to get really good audio without you seeing microphones throughout the room. Try to shoot during the day, because if you're shooting at night, you're gonna have to rely on your key lights. And key lights are going to make you have shadows, and there's gonna be no control over where that shadow is falling. It's just going to look too fake. So try to do it during the day. Try to get your shots done as quickly as you can in the same time frame. This way you're going to be working with the same amount of light coming into your room. And even then I was using my key light, but what I did was I pointed my key light up to my ceiling and this just brightened the overall ambiance of the room and kept it nice and consistent. Keep all of your props in order. You know, I had some things scattered about. I did a couple of takes on this side of the room and wouldn't you know, the sunglasses and the keys were sitting over on this table. So I had to completely reshoot all of those takes because it just wouldn't make sense if I came in wearing sunglasses and carrying keys and here they are on this table. It just, you know, you want to have a little bit of professionalism. Write your script, practice it before you even hit record on your camera. This way you can try to get the timing down because it's hard. You're not gonna get it right the first time. You're gonna have to do probably at least 10 or 12 takes to get it the way that you like, especially if you have a lot of dialogue back and forth. If it's just you sitting there and another you comes in and they're just not saying anything and they're just nodding or whatever, that's different. That That's not that difficult. But if you're having the back and forth banter, it, it's hard. It really is. It's hard. And you're going to have to do a few takes. Don't feel bad. I Like I said, I did a lot of takes. Okay, so let's jump into LumaFusion. And I'm going to show you how I did this edit. Okay, so what we want to do is drop in our main timeline the first video clip, obviously, of the first character that's going to do the opening dialogue. So that is going to be screen right for me. I'm going to drop that in the main timeline. And what I'm going to do is drop down now screen left. That is going to be the second, the second video clip. So what you want to do here is sync up the dialogue between the two different characters. Now you need to keep this dialogue in mind while you're also filming the video. So you see how I went, I pressed record on the camera because no, sadly, I my remote control is not working because I had on a manual lens and for some reason it doesn't work with a manual lens. So I hit record on the camera, I walked out of the side of the room, so I'm gonna go ahead and immediately just trim that out because there's no way that I can even use that, so we'll just get rid of it it right then and there and while I walked out of this side of the room in my mind I was saying the dialogue of this particular character right here and then that's when I came in so what we need to do is match up the dialogue between these two different characters so before you would do any of that if you want to do any color correction or color grading this is the point where you should do it you color correct one, one of them, like you could do the main timeline, color correct it, then you back out of it, and then you take the exact color correction, you would copy and paste that to your secondary 
clip right above it so that everything matches perfectly. Okay, so what I want to do here is go to the second clip, and what I'm going to do is crop out the right-hand side of the screen. So go to cropping, and I'm going to pull in from the right-hand side of the screen, and I'm going to maybe right there in the middle of the curtain. Let's see how that looks. I mean, that looks perfect. You can't even tell. You can't, you can't even really tell. So now what you're going to have to do is match up the dialogue. And what I'm going to do is pull this down. And get rid of that. Go to the front. Okay, so I immediately see me looking. So this should be me walking in. So I already know that I'm going to need to trim away some of this. Oh, another thing that's very important. What I'm going to do right here is make a clip, cut it, and take any audio that might have been captured by my microphone while I had on the leather jacket, we just completely want to dump that and get rid of that. And how we do that is we make sure that video clip is highlighted. We come down here to where these audio waves are. We just hit that and that is going to drop that audio down into this line here. And what we want to do is just throw it right into the garbage can. So that's going to get rid of any noises that I might have been making, if my keys were clacking, if I coughed, anything like that, it's immediately going to pull all of that away. So what I want to do is trim away some of this and pull this up because I want to see... I still might even need to trim more of that. It's just now going to be a little game of trimming away excess clip that you don't need to match up the dialogue between the two characters. Nope, I need to get rid of more still. Oh, hey, are you all right? You're looking kind of rough. Nope. I still need to trim away a bunch of stuff here. Let's see how this looks. Annual lenses. Oh. Hey, are you all right? You're looking kind of rough. I don't want to talk about it. I'm actually in the middle to? of filming a video. Oh, am I interrupting? A little bit. Okay, I'll just mosey okay. on out then. Hey, Kenny. That's my jacket. Hey, Ken. And that's perfect. That's, that's good right there. So... That's it. It's just basically a game of matching up the audio where you want it to be. Make sure that your color correction is good and that you can't see a split in the screen. And really, to me, you can't really see it really at all. So I think that this this was an overall success. I think. I think it looks good. I mean, uh, so let's say... I don't think I have to add any color correction to this at all. I'm just going to leave it like that. But let's say that I wanted to. Let me just go to the first clip here. And I am going to go to color and effects. Go to the little color palette. Hit original. And what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of contrast right off the bat. Add a little bit of saturation. Maybe a touch, a touch of vibrance. Not too much. And I'm just going to tweak the mids. And the highlights. Okay, that looks good. And I'm, let's say if I wanted to drop in uh, a LUT. Let's go ahead and drop in a LUT. Not too much. That looks good. So what I'm going to do is copy that. And paste it to match it. And I have to paste it again to this one. Any more? Perfect. So once again, you don't even really see where...
purchasing manual the two different ones are split I think it worked out really well hey are you all right you're looking kind of rough I don't want to talk about it perfect I I think this came out really good Carrie thank you so much I had a lot of fun doing that and putting that all together. So if you guys have any requests for future videos, please leave them in the comment section below and I will try to get to them just as soon as I can. And until next time, wear your sunblock.